Hi everyone, welcome to this video about chi-squared test. At the end of the video, you can identify the data assumptions for chi-squared test for independence. Carry out the chi-squared test for independence using SPSS and interpret the result of the test. The chi-squared test for independence, also called Persons chi-squared test or the chi-squared test of association is used to discover if there is a relationship between two categorical variables. For our assumptions, the two variables should be measured at an interval at an ordinal or nominal, and these are the categorical variables or data. For the second assumption, the two variables should consist of two or more categorical independent groups. Like for example, gender, we have two groups. For ethnicity, three groups. Physical activity level, level four groups. And the profession, five groups. And let's say those assumptions uh, were satisfied in this uh, research problem then we can use the chi-squared test for independence. A school principal conducts a study to determine if the mode of delivery of teaching learning is associated to a student's academic performance. For our hypothesis, the null will be the mode of delivery of teaching learning is not associated to a student's academic performance. The alternative is the mode of delivery of teaching learning is associated to a student's academic performance. Our statement of the problem can be stated as, is there a significant relationship between the mode of delivery of teaching learning and a student's academic performance? For the formal null and alternative hypothesis, we can write it like this. There is no significant relationship between the mode of delivery of teaching learning and the student's academic performance. There is a significant relationship between the mode of delivery of teaching learning and the student's academic performance. Let's say we have this data set. So we need to organize our data we're going to use code because both variables are nominal or ordinal. For the mode of delivery of teaching learning, we're going to use one for online, two for blended, three for modular. And for the academic performance, we use one, two, three, four, five to indicate poor to excellent. And suppose in these uh, three, mod three modes of delivery, there are actually 10 students or student participants for its mode. So one here is for the online, there are 10 students. Then two here for the blended, there are 10 students. And three here for modular, there are actually 10 students. And for example, we measure their academic performance after, uh, after they underwent with that of the mode of delivery of learning and teaching, these are their academic performance level, okay? So, I will going to show you on how to actually treat the data, okay, using our SPSS. So, the same from Excel here. This is how we organize our data using codes here. And then, we have to copy or transfer this to our SPSS. So we just copy, click here, you drag, then you right click, and then you copy the data. You go to our SPSS and make sure it is in the data view. So you click on the first cell, you right click, and then you click paste. So there it is, our data. We're going to change the variable name, so you need to click variable view here. Our first... Uh, variable is the mode of uh, the mode of delivery 
And our uh, second variable is actually their academic performance. Level, actually. It's a level. Okay, so that's it for the variable name. And we have to identify the level of measurements. The mode of, de of delivery is actually nominal. And our academic performance level is actually ordinal. And since they are actually nominal and ordinal, we're going to actually change the values here since we use also a code, okay? So for the mode of delivery, one is actually online, two is actually uh, blended, and three is actually modular, okay? So click add here and then okay. Then you proceed to academic uh, performance level. One is actually poor. Two is actually good. Then three is actually satisfactory. And then four is actually very satisfactory. And then the fifth one or the five, five is for excellent. Okay, so click add and okay. And that's it. That's how to actually input our data in our SPSS. And then we, get, we are now ready to use chi-square. So these are the steps. You click on analyze. And then you go to descriptive statistics. And then you click on cross tabs. Okay. So you're going to transfer the mode of delivery to actually rows. Or it can be columns. You have to choose. And then you have the academic performance. You have to transfer it to columns. Okay. And then here you click statistics and then don't forget to click chi square. That's what we're going to use here. Click continue. Then you click on cells. Okay. And then you may actually click all these, uh, um, these buttons here for row, column, and total for the percentages. Or you may just choose total. So I will just choose total here. Then you click continue. And then OK, and you will have the output for our chi-square. So this is the output for our chi-square. OK, so I have to continue using our uh, PowerPoint here. So this is the SPSS output. And uh, what are the values to be included in our table? So you can actually include this in your manuscript, OK? The percentage and the frequency for the mode of delivery and academic performance, that's actually the cross-tabulation of the two variables. And for the significant relationship, you have to base it from the second table. So for our significant relationship, we can have this uh, table here. The first column will be for the variables, the two variables being associated. We have the symbol for chi-square, so it's just like a Greek letter, uh, which is actually parang letter x and then we have the probability value p value and we have the decision so where is the computed value it's here it's below the word value here so it's 32.314 and the p value is the number below the word sig here so it's 0. 0.000 and how to make a decision so since our probability value is uh, 0. 0.000 this is less than 0 0.05 level of significance, we need to reject our HO. So now, we're ready to interpret our table, but don't forget to write also the title of the table. So we have here, Table 1, Significant Relationship Between Mode of Delivery of Teaching Learning and the Student Academic Performance. Using APA format, it can be like this. The table shows that, so you have the computed value for chi-square, the probability value, and it tells us that there is a statistically significant association between mode of delivery of teaching learning and student academic performance. This implies that, okay, so you can actually continue on that based on the cross-tabulation for the mode of delivery and academic performance. This is another format of our of 
of stating our discussion or interpretation of the table. As shown on table 1, the computed value and the probability value, which is less than 0 0.05 level of significance, indicate that there is significant relationship between the mode of delivery of teaching learning and student academic performance. Okay, my dear students, that's all for our chi-square for independence. This is Roldan, Jos Mabalo. Bye-bye.